Hey guys, welcome back. And if you spend as much time online as I do, which unfortunately is way too much time, you'll probably realize by now that there's no limit to the things people can get outraged by. Sometimes, you know, the outrage is merited. Sometimes it's worthwhile. And other times it just seems to be like artificial outrage. One thing I came across today, which I thought was worth mentioning, was this kick streamer who came under fire for killing a wild boar in a live broadcasted, uh, you know, a little hunt that they did. I'm not going to go through too many of the gritty details. Long story short, um, she definitely seemed to be inexperienced. She had these two guides with her and a hunting dog, but, you know, basically she screwed up, didn't get it clean on the first time. Uh, it was this big old controversy, and in the end, you know, she did it legally. It wasn't like it was something illegal. But, you know, people are all split down the middle, freaking out either on one side or the other, going... Oh, you know, I got no problem with it. It's, it's how we eat bacon anyways, and it's where our meat comes from, which is more of the side I tend to lean towards. I'm like, look, I'm not out there killing my own pigs or cows, and I eat plenty of hamburgers and bacon, so I'm not really going to complain too much. But then you got other people who are like, oh, this is terrible, and she just did it for sport, and this is so evil. And I'm just like, come on, guys, this is beyond ridiculous. But, you know, it's the internet. It's Twitter. People are going to people are gonna react, and they're going to have uh, hurt feelings and all that good stuff. Well, something else that's trending on Twitter today, which has definitely got people split down the middle, I think, is Taylor Swift going, you know, viral for all the wrong reasons. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, in summary, it's people who have made AI images of Taylor Swift. We all know who Taylor Swift is. I don't think she needs any introduction. But AI images of Taylor Swift in very not family-friendly scenarios, we'll say. Um, so this article here kind of, kind of briefly goes over it, but we're going to, I'm not going to show you the images that'll get me out, kicked off of YouTube, but we're just going to talk about them briefly in a minute here. So the article says Swifties are coming out in full force to defend music idol Taylor Swift after deeply offensive AI pictures of the artist went viral online. On Wednesday, January 24th, AI generated pictures that showed the singer in a disparaging light began circulating online. Now I'm going to say, first of all, uh, today or yesterday, January 24th, that's not the first time that these pictures really got going. I've seen some of these ones that are trending on Twitter right now months ago, to be honest. Uh, I didn't think anything of them at the time because I'm like, okay, somebody made an AI image, whatever. I just moved on with my day. So it says, one of the deep fake images shared by, I'm not going to share their Twitter name, showed the singer being violated by Chiefs fans at a game, leaving netizens shocked and leading to a widespread outrage online. So, um... Real quick, because I've seen a lot of the images, when they say violated, there's no P in the V. There's, uh, It's not that graphic. It is definitely inappropriate, and it's definitely her in compromising situations and implied uh, you know, nudity and all that kind of stuff. But we, this, as, as inappropriate and wrong as it is, we have not seen them cross, at least not that they've shared on Twitter, um, they haven't crossed the line into the actual straight-up 21 and up kind of stuff. Um, so it says, Deem Times Magazine's most powerful person of the year in 2023. Gross. <laughs> Taylor Swift's cultural, political, and economic clout has reached unprecedented levels, prompting the world to coin the term Swiftonomics, which I, yeah, I'm i sorry. I'm, I'm not a Swifty. You'll have to forgive me. From spearheading arguably the most successful concerts of the era, generating hundreds of millions in tourism revenue, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she's become a powerful force. We know. Taylor Swift became a recent target of AI deepfake imagery that used her likeness to create offensive pictures. The images of outraged Swifties who came in or came out in droves to slam people circulating them online. I know. And I have seen them and they're horrible. To be honest, I don't know what they can actually do about the legal ramifications of taking somebody against their will and putting them in these situations in an AI image. It's their likeness. It's not really them. But I think you do have a right to protect your likeness, especially... I don't know. It's it's so muddy with celebrities and people who are famous. Like, how do you protect your likeness when people can literally come in your front yard and take a picture of you because you're a celebrity? It's a very controversial topic. I don't know what the answer is. All I know is people are livid. So you got the Swifties coming out online. They're spamming the Taylor Swifty AI trending tab to try to share more wholesome images of her from her concert tour, which I think is fine. I wouldn't waste my day doing it, but, you know, whatever. But the funny thing is, this is not the first time that Taylor Swift fans have been <laughs> scammed by fake AI or, or responded to fake AI. They've actually been, uh, they got scammed by a fake AI endorsement for Le Creuset um, cookware not too long ago. 
So this is not the first time that we're seeing AI and Taylor Swift meet, but this is definitely the first time that it's reached this level of, shall we say, degeneracy. And again, I get it. Let's say you make an image in your home and you're not going to share it and it, you know, nobody's going to know. There's an argument for that. I don't know how, how comfortable I feel about that, but there is an argument for that. But I do, I do wonder what the legal ramifications are once you take that image that you made for your own uh, viewing pleasure and then start sharing that online. Again, this is a lot of gray area that I don't know if we fleshed out yet. One of the less offensive, and I don't think sharing this will get me banned from YouTube uh, pictures that I've seen here, this this one's just wrong. It's supposed to be Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, and she's got like she's in the maternity ward. She's got like a black baby or whatever. I I get it. It's supposed to be tongue in cheek, kind of funny, whatever. But it's, it's more disturbing than anything else. I don't know how I feel about all this, guys. Let me know what you guys think. What are we gonna do about AI? Like, how do they deal with this? Because I'm not a fan of just saying we'll throw anybody in jail who makes an AI image of somebody. But at what point is your privacy or your likeness, your, your right to protect your likeness and your own integrity um, legally actionable? It's, it's a lot of gray area, and I'm just not sure what we can do about it. Either way, let me know what you guys think about all this, and I will see you guys on the next one. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. We do have two channels, one for daily uploads, the other one for more of my live streams and hot takes. Uh, links to both are down below as well as the ability to join as a channel member for as little as three dollars a month And that'll greatly help us out much appreciated We also have links to our Etsy accounts down below as well as our website We also have locals and subscribe star if you didn't want to support us on YouTube You can support us through those. Thanks again for being here and we will see you on the next one